Hello, everyone. My presentation's topic today is on College and Research Library News. So the College and Research Library News is a website hosted by Association of College and Research Libraries, a division of the American Library Association, ALA. So the CIL News was established in 1966 as a branch of the CLOL, but it has its own independent and separate organizational structures to serve its missions and visions. The College and Research Library News publish a news articles, reports, essay written on by practitioners addressing philosophy and techniques of day-to-day -day management of academic library services and collections. So the C or L news provide current information related to issues, activities, and personalities of the higher education and academic and research library field. And if you go to the subscribes, it will bring you to the different types of the of the contents. You can find it on this website. So there are many five contents categories. The first one, they focus on a project, program, and service dealing with the topic relevant to academic librarianship. Second, title essay for the way I see it is kind of an opinion essay, right? Tin down by librarians or the library supporting staff. Just only to offer a reason and inform speculation or comments on related topics. That one is internet research uh, resources. Uh, the, the, the main focus is only touching on technology and libraries. The first one is ACOL Text Conics. It, it focuses on the, the technology. And the, the fifth one is a humorous essay related to the issues of academic librarianships in higher education. So all of this content, you can have it, but the current issues or past issues, it upon your, 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 your interest. So you need to click on it. But the thing is by clicking on the current issue, it won't bring you to to the contents of each particular article. So you need to have another clicks on the table of contents and then another clicks. So it just brings you to only to an abstract and then you need to select it. I feel like uh, it's a little bit, you know, distracting for user. So to me, I just like, they have just like only a few clicks and then just bring me to the HTML. And then the website might be, might be getting improved by putting some, you know, the clicking button somewhere else, where the user can, you know, have option to download or to do the print it. So this is a place where you can put it. Uh, with the PDF format. So yeah, it is kind of helpful for the navigation. So let's uh, turning back to the current issues. So you can you, you can find a different uh, category of these contents as what I did mention. So you can go to internet resource, text connects, all the way is here, it's our opinions and article. So all of these content types is regularly published on the website every month. So you can notice the contents will be updated every month. And especially it's for free, everyone can access to, to the content published on the website. It's not necessary for the members of the college and library 
news or it's not necessary that you must be a member of the college and a research library uh, association in order to use the, the contents on, on the website. So the general public can use it. But if you check on the inf information provided on each uh, category of this, of these articles, you, you can notice like that the main target audience uh, is librarians and other library supporting staff because they, they just focus on issues of the library and higher education. And, and the, the website itself has some other flawlessness. Uh, I mean, like, is it can be uh, improved a little bit. I mean, in terms of the image to look, look more, a little bit professional. Just to take out, you know, all of this advertisement from the from the home page. So if you go to the home page, you can see there's a lot of advertisement, especially on the top of the page and also on the right corner. So maybe, you know, the web designers, they can like create another sub page to put it as sponsorships or partners or whatever as a sub page right here, maybe. And put all those kind of advertisement right here, you know, because all these guys they just all also providing some funding or whatever, you know, to make sure the website it it it, it can survive, it remains sustained. I think the reason it might be also, you know seen as free access, that's right, they need to have some kind of funding to, to, to help support the activities of this, on these websites, that's right. And uh, the, the second point regarding to the weakness of the website itself, I think it look a little bit wordy, uh, two more crowd, crowded right here because the, the website administrator are likely want to underline everything they're working on instead of, you know, to hide it somewhere under the sub page. And then sometimes they also want to promote their work, but I think is, is that a good option just to, to do it with the social medias instead of, you know, try to put everything right here on the homepage. So from the user experience perspective, I feel a little bit, you know, distracted and frustrated about, you know, finding information maybe because it is just too much. Anyway, for the strings part of the website, I feel it's, it's really, really useful for the librarians and also the library supporting staff because they can use all this material to, you know, to improve their work, to improve their quality of services, you know, through the free access to this website. And, all of the content produced in this, you know, publications is made by professionals, the, the expert in the field. As you can see about the author, Sabrina Thomas is a researcher and instruction librarian. So they are the ones who have a lot of experience in the field and they're, they're also in the authority to, to write down this it's this article that's right it's really useful the the those article not only 
help the librarians and the people working in the library professions updated about what's going on, but also, you know, to share their own experience and also to learn from each other, you know, to solve the, their own problems at the, at the library for their day-to-day -day work. So that is what I, what I did notice on this website. I think that's all from my part, thank you.